hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a roll up banner like this in photoshop before any further ado let's get started then what we are going to use today in this tutorial my pixel is going to be one 094 then and the height is going to be 1954 then click on great my resolution is 300 then you have something like this now go to your ellipse tool to create a perfect cycle by holding your shift key then I will leave it a white background color Then I will drag it up this side. Now I'm going to apply a drop shadow. Yeah, it's okay. All right. Now that I have this one being drawn. I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl J, then I'll drag it here, then take this one back a little bit, now I'll drag this one here, then I'm going to copy my color here, Ctrl C to copy, then I will paste this color, then I will also duplicate it again, Ctrl J. This time around, I'm going to remove the layer style, then I'll drag it up like this, then I will copy the second color code here. Then double, double click, Ctrl V to paste, then this is the color. Alright, now I'm going to duplicate this one again, the one down here, Ctrl J. Then you drag it up. Now I will bring it down here. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl J. Then I will drag it down. Then I will go. I'm, I will leave it like this. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to duplicate this one, Ctrl J, then I will change it to white color, then I will hold my shift key, then drag it up, then to make it like egg shape, then right click, rasterize, then go to your marker tool, then I will drag up here like this. Then press delete on your keyboard, Ctrl D to deselect. Now I'll position it this way. Then I will drag it out like this. Okay. Having done this, then the next thing to do, I'm going to group this one, Ctrl J. Then background. 
now go back to your rectangle select a rectangle then i'm going to draw a rectangle like this then i will apply this color here which is this then i'm going to drag the shape like this it's okay then hold your shift key then you drag it back now i'm going to apply the drop shadow on this one it's okay i'm using the same setting then i will duplicate again ctrl j then change it to white then use your arrow key to drag it back or you use your mouse any one you can use now i will i'm going to bring this image down to photoshop then drag it down then i'm going to right click then flip horizontal then to have a picture like this now hold your shift uh, alternate key when you hold the alternate key then you will see a sign position your mouse like this then you see this sign then click then you will power clip it that is out another way of creating a clipping mask then you can right click then when you right click then you see create a clipping mask here that is when if you are not already applying the clipping marks then now is release the clipping mask when i click on it now then the image will come out then right click again then you see create a clipping mask then when you click then it will clip inside the object now i'm going to group it then i will name it image all right now i have something like this what i will do again is to bring my logo then reduce the size then i'll drag it up then i'll position it here So having done that, then I'm going to copy my test, Ctrl C to copy, then T on your keyboard to select your test tool, then I have this, alright, then position it well. Now, the next thing to do now, I'm going to copy my test, then I'll come here, T on my on my keyboard to for the test tool, then you click Ctrl V to paste. Now I will increase the size a bit like this. Alright, it's okay. Then I will do I'm going to duplicate it, control J. Then copy your test. 
control V to paste then I'm going to expand this one scale it out all right then I'm going to copy this test code here then I will apply it on this one Ctrl V see it's more darker than the other one all right now that we have it like this I'm going to copy this one again duplicate it Ctrl J then drag it down then I will copy this text here Now this one I'm going to change the color to this color here then OK I'll copy this text again now this time around I'm going to duplicate the digital here Then I'll drag it down. Then Ctrl V to paste. Ctrl C to copy. Now here I'm going to duplicate the text here and I will take it up Then reduce the size. Okay, now that we have something like this, I will copy this text here again. Then I'm going to my round rectangle tool. Then I'm going to drag it to draw this like this. Then I'm going to change the color, the color to this. Then I'm going to duplicate this marketing. Then drag it down. Then Ctrl V to paste the test. Reduce the size. Then hold your control key to select the rectangle, then apply vertical and horizontal alignment. Then this is what you have. Then I'm going to copy this test and duplicate it, this test here. Then 
Ctrl V to paste. I'm going to reduce the size here Use your arrow key to move it up Alright Now, go back again Then To copy your text then this time I'm going to use this same round shape then I'll draw like this then I will apply this color Then I'm going to bring this icon Go to your image, adjustment, hue and saturation then you come to the light lightness then you drag it to the white then you change it to white color now duplicate this text here ctrl j then position it somewhere here then you paste Now I'm going to duplicate this one again Drag it down Then copy your contacts Then I'll paste Alright, I will drag this one to make it equal with the right angle here. Okay, now I will duplicate this round shape right angle here. Now take it up, then drag it down, then I will duplicate this text here, take it up, then I will copy its info text. Then you paste it. Sorry, I did not copy it well. Control C. All right. Now I'm going to duplicate this one again. Then copy the address. Then you paste. Now this is what we have.
then I'm going to reduce this one so that the two will be equal then I'm going to bring this icon position it here then go to your image adjustment hue and saturation drag this here then so the last thing I'm going to do now is to bring this design reduce it then take it up all right i'll position it there then i'll bring this circle one again I'm going to position this one here. Reduce the size a bit. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Now, what you are going to do now, I are going to group it this one contact tests the logo now hold your shift plus control and alt key then you press e then you will have this now i'm going to show you how to apply a mock-up then I'm going to open this smoke up here then bring it to Photoshop now this is the mock up come to project here then you double click now you see it here now I'm going to drag this one into the mock up then expand it then click ok now i'm going to click close it then click yes to save it now the mockups the mockup has been saved then you click here then you see the you see it then i'm going to change this background color i'm going to change the background color to something like this okay so this is how to apply mockup after apply a mockup then you go to file then you will see export then you click on export
now you can see that's been export then you can save it by jpeg by png or jpeg so anyone you want then after that then you click on export thank you very much for watching please kindly subscribe like and share